is zero points. It hurts to say that despite your perfect scores in all the other fields, you cannot advance to your second school year if you cannot form a contract with the familiar. Forming a contract with the familiar needn't be such a large hurdle. Some students have passed by forming contracts with rhinoceros beetles. Unfortunately, unless you can successfully summon something, there is nothing I can do. You must form a contract with the familiar before tomorrow's faculty meeting. Else, I'm afraid, you will repeat the year. How'd it go, Alto? Lilia. What did the teacher have to say? I have to make a contract with something by tomorrow, or I'll get held back a year. What? Seriously? I'm going to give him a piece of my mind! Uh, hold on, Lilia! At least put the rock down first! He's right in telling me that. Second years need familiars for completing new class activities. I know, but are you just gonna accept this? <sighs> it just doesn't seem fair. You worked so hard this entire year. This is the Ortigia Royal Academy of Magic. I studied my butt off to get in, then worked even harder to do well once I was here. But this is the one thing I can't pass. Well, he did give me until tomorrow, <gasps> so I'm gonna give it another shot. Well, let me know if I can do anything to help you with this. Thanks. I said I'd give it another shot. Unfortunately, I already tried summoning beetles. What else is left there for me to try? Compatibility is essential for successful summoning. Maybe instead I should try summoning something really weird or unique this time. some weird summoning book that I need and it just happened to fall on me at this exact moment. It looks pretty ancient to me. All right! It is a book of summoning magic! It's pretty beat up though, so I have no idea what it might summon. <gasps> hey, the magic circle is still legible! Please work for me. By bonds of blood, and the moon is thy guide. Drink of mana, of life, and become my thrall, to partake in the universe by my side. Bid me thy name, and heed my call as I bring you forth. Huh? What's going on? It's never worked before. All right. Now, if thou seeks my blood, then summon forth and bid me thy name. My blood is yours! I did it! I summoned something! Yes, are you the one who let me out of there? Um, well, uh... She's not human. So what exactly did I summon? I want you to be my familiar! What? Yeah, I think... 
that'll do! And so, after my first successful attempt at summoning, I found myself in this crazy situation. Hmm. I see. This is an academy of magic. So, that's how a sweet boy like you summoned me here? <gasps> what a fun story this is turning out to be! <clears throat> Though, it does make sense. With the mana you possess, most familiars wouldn't dare approach you. Huh? Oh my, then you're not aware of it? The mana you possess is extremely potent. Too potent would be far more accurate. To most beings, it's as lethal as poison. So, that's why I couldn't... I, on the other hand, like my mana nice and potent. So, hey, um, you just said that you're a demon, is that right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right. I'm an evil demon, a very <laughs> naughty and demonic woman. Demons are powerful illusionary beings, feared by all for eons. Some demons even have destroyed entire nations all by themselves. Um, if you see what I'm like, then why be my familiar? Why be? Yeah, I mean, you could break the contract if you wanted. That is true. Frankly speaking, I could have killed you right then and there if I truly wanted. What?! But I was trapped inside that musty old book for a very long time. And you were the one that helped me to finally escape. So really, I owe you. Being your familiar is a cheap price to pay. But why were you... trapped in that book? Oh yeah? Are you interested? Do you really want to know why I was sealed away? <sighs> It's because of all of the terribly naughty things that I did. Oh, but can a demon like you really be my familiar? Hey, Vermeil, you're a bad guy, right? A bad guy? You're asking me if I'm a bad guy? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's just it sounds so adorable when you say it that way. But yes, you're right. <laughs> So this thing, uh, I mean, a person, is your familiar? Yeah, I know. <sighs> Sorry, Alto Goldfield. I know you were desperate to advance a grade, but a human as your familiar is too far. You know we don't allow guests on campus. Ugh, what's wrong with you? <clears throat> I told you, I'm Alto's familiar and that's all there is to it. You teach summoning magic, you should know what a contract looks like. You see? Yes, that's the familiar's contract, and not at all a spell of servitude, but never in the annals of history has a human made another human that- Who cares about that? And regardless, I didn't want to be summoned to some weird place either. So buck up and say I'm his familiar. Fine, very well. With this, Alto Goldfield, I can say with certainty, you have passed. Yes, finally. <laughs> now I can become a second year. Of course. Just one thing. Are you truly amenable to this? To being this boy's familiar? Well, it's too late to turn back now. And honestly, it doesn't bother me. <sighs> All right, get back to your seat. <laughs> All Good right! Job. Who the hell is she?! Hey, Vermeil, when we're at school, could you, uh, maybe... Come on, it's no big deal. I can't help it. What is wrong with Alto? I was up all night worried sick about him! Master Goldfield, please refrain from that kind of behavior. Good. Get them to stop right now. Really? But so many other students have their familiars sitting right on top of them in class. Yet you're going to stand there and pick on poor Alto, you monster! <clears throat> and isn't one of the school's doctrines here live life alongside your familiar? Uh, turn your attention back to your tomes. We win! Give me a break here, Vermeil, please. You haven't beaten me yet. I'll admit, I'm glad he'll be able to advance to the next grade with me. Hey, Alto, <laughs> give me some more of that thick, potent stuff lurking inside of you. No! Hold on! What are you two even doing? Lilia Kulfate, go stand in the hall. Uh, I refuse to accept this! Alto! What the hell is up with that thing on you? Hmm? Who is this woman? I could ask the same of 
you! Just who the hell is she? You think you should pretend to be a human? Really? Yes. I know it's strange coming from me. But many of you humans despise demons. Academies of magic all the more so. Luckily for me and you in this day and age, average mages cannot see through my veil. All I'll need to do is put away my horns. This will make things easier for you. And for me, too. So, uh, please allow me to introduce you to Vermeil. She's my familiar. I'm Alto's familiar! Oh, that's why I'm asking what the hell is going on here! <laughs> Are you serious, Lilia? Hold on a second! Mm. Also, I challenge you! Let's resolve this ridiculousness with a duel! If I win against you, you will leave that lascivious, loud familiar of yours in your room unless needed! What's going on? Well, um, how exactly do I put this? It's a school thing, I guess. Formal duels. Ortigi Academy of Magic Statute 7. Dueling etiquette. Conflicts between students are to be resolved via strictly regulated duel to prevent discord. So the outcome is the loser has to do whatever the winner says, huh? Exactly! So you hanging off him like that won't be for much longer! <sighs> now what? Lilia has never been one to compromise. So what? Just duel her like she wants you to. <laughs> if we win, then you'll have to do whatever it is that Alto asks of you. Uh, it would only be fair, yes. Just one request from him. Sound good? Um, um, whatever he wants? But, but we're still just young students. But, but if Alto really wanted... No, I couldn't possibly... No, oh, come on, you dummy. Wait a sec! All right, then, I'll take you on, Alto. <sighs> My turn now, little girl. You better be prepared. Uh, what? Please, no! No! Uh, uh, uh! Lilia Kudafayet loses! <sighs> All right, then. We won the duel fair and square. You have to listen to us now. <laughs> I know. I managed to keep my lips safe. Fine, tell me. I guess I have no choice. I'll do whatever it is you say, only because I have no choice. I lost, after all. I really have no choice. <laughs> <clears throat> I want you to be friends with Vermeil. Uh... 
The same goes for you, Vermeil. No more fighting. Huh? What do you mean that goes for me? I didn't do anything. I said no more fighting, and promises made after duels are final. F fine then. I can't say no to Alto, so I'll be friends with you. <laughs> Let's be friends, okay, ma'am? Ma'am? Well, that's a funny thing to say to me. Especially considering that I just crushed you. <laughs> You're pretty strong, ma'am! I hope they really can be friends. <sighs> I'm exhausted after a day like today. Could you please try not to cause trouble? Oh, you know it wasn't all my fault. That little girl is in love with you, you know. No way. She's just an old childhood friend of mine is all. And lately she's been mad at me for the weirdest things. But she can be nice sometimes. I did pretty well back there. Don't I deserve a treat? Huh? You want a treat? Yeah. I'll take a little bit of your mana. Uh, hold on. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, why do you even need to drain my mana in the first place if you're a powerful demon? Oh, yeah. Well, about that. Being sealed away for centuries in that musty old book has made me quite weak, if you must know the truth of the matter. Frankly, without your mana... I probably couldn't retain a physical form. What? Are you being serious? But your mana is especially potent, little lamb. It's a real big help. Yeah, I'm starting to figure that out. I thought contracting a demon would be scary, but it's just kind of normal. Like I'm getting so much for so little. <laughs> it's not normal at all. Normal humans couldn't handle our power, even with a contract to protect them. Either they burst from the inside or die from having their mana completely drained. When you sell your soul to a demon, that is what happens. But given what I've seen, you've got what it takes for a demon to want to serve you. <sighs> if you find kissing all the time too annoying for you, <laughs> there are more effective ways of draining your mana. Want to give it a go? <laughs> This is the Ortigia Royal Academy of Magic, where mages and their familiars study the magical arts. Dude, look! Damn! Her boobs are huge! Kinda feels like everyone's eyes are on us. You think so? I'm serious. Promise me, you mustn't do anything to make yourself stand out. Ah! A high-class familiar! A dragon's on the loose! <gasps> with a single flick straight to the forehead. Aw, oh, come on. That dragon left me no choice but to flick. Well, sure, I can see that, but still. Hey there. Hold it, Alto! Everyone's talking about you. They said some underclassman and his weird girlfriend sent a rampaging dragon flying. It's been one thing or another after you showed up. Hmm? <clears throat> well done, advancing to your second year, everyone. All your classes henceforth will involve your familiars. Familiars are simple creatures. If you treat them with love and care, your bond will continue to grow to become inseparable companions. Here you go. However, though... If that love isn't sincere, then they will use their fangs and claws to tear you apart, not caring of the destruction that they leave behind. Information on demon seals is classified. These seals are comprised of hundreds of layers of barriers and circles. 
making it impossible to release a demon. These seals are the reason why demons no longer threaten our livelihoods in this day and age. Now, any questions before we move on? I've got one. Why is she blatantly glomming onto him like that? So, what's that girl doing here again? You took the words right out of my mouth. I told you two to act like friends. Those were the terms of our duel and everything. Why do you think I'm walking home with you two then? I don't believe we asked you to do that. <sighs> hey, second year. That's her, dude! I swear! She's the one! No friggin' doubt about it! Mm -hmm. Then you must be that underclassman. Uh, I guess. I'm Rex, a dragon rider. I heard you did a big number on my boy earlier today. Did, did, did you, you say Rex the Dragon, Dragon Rider? Who's that? Yeah, who is this guy? Don't play dumb, you fools! You beat the ever-loving shit out of my dragon this morning! Uh, what's a Dragon Rider? The Dragon Riders are a group of mages who have dragons as their familiars. They're kind of like a club, I guess. Oh, I get it then. Let me take a guess. This group of theirs goes around with their dragons, bragging about how tough they are. What you say? <laughs> I should try not to get on her bad side. You got some balls on you, lady. Really, man? You must have used some kind of trick to do it, because you just don't look tough enough to take out a dragon. Huh. You only think that because you're a little boy who knows nothing of the world. Oh! Oh, no! Are you going to do something terrible to us weaklings? Cut the bullshit! We all know you're a freak of nature! You're so mean! Now! We, we did, did it! it! Oh, wow. Crystal synthesis is quite an advanced magic, you know. You're pretty talented for a boy your age. Impressive. I'm really good at magic formulae. You think that's enough to take me, huh? Summon! That's a big spell for a second year. But you should really stick to picking fights with people on your level, scrub. <laughs> that, 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 that's a big dinosaur! <laughs> What the hell? You're an upper form student! What are you doing picking on a middle former? Have you no shame? What? <gasps> Now's your only chance to apologize. But since I can be chivalrous, your girl can show me how sorry she is some other way if she wants. Huh? What? Mm -hmm. Personality aside, she's hot. Just my body type. Die clinging in each other's arms! <laughs> Here's your mana from yesterday's kiss. It's all yours now. I picked a fight with you. No, bro! I'm sorry! It's all my fault! I lost fair and square. Aw, oh, aren't you a good sport? I suppose now you know not to underestimate your underclassmen when they've already taken down a dragon. <laughs> Do you get it now? Drawing attention to yourself will only cause more problems for both of us. I don't see the problem. It's taken care of now. Still, what was with that spell? School seems like such a bother to have to deal with. Will all this annoying studying actually help you get what you want in life? 
If you just want to be rich, I can get you all the money you would ever want. Well, just please don't do anything illegal. That's a good question. What do I want in life? I'll tell you, I want to become an incredible mage. An incredible mage? Our nation's mages are set into four ranks. Gold squares, silver squares, bronze squares, and the most common out of the ranks, also pulled the lowest, is apprentice mages. Earning bronze certification is tough enough in itself, and only a few of us at the academy will ever rise to silver. So let me guess. You want to be one of those gold square mages then, huh? Actually, I want to become even better than just a regular gold square rank. How so? It is widely known amongst mages that the crown bestows a special rank to the most elite and promising of gold squares, elevating those who have made significant contributions to the science of magic. I want to achieve that mastery. I want to be one of them. A platinum square. Which I guess is kind of ridiculous for me to say, seeing as how I almost had to repeat a grade. <sighs> oh, I like it! Sounds good. I knew I had chosen the right master. <sighs> Don't you worry. I'll make sure that big dream of yours comes true. I should have known you were after this! Good morning. Hey, guys. <laughs> Why do you look like that, Alto? Oh, just didn't sleep that well. Probably because of that harlot right there. What else could it be? Oh. Hey, look who it is! If it isn't Alto and Lilia in the flesh! Which reminds me, I heard a rumor today that you won a nasty duel against an upper former. That's awesome. I knew I was right picking you as my rival. And who's this moronic fool? His name's Marx. He's in our class. Marx is actually a pretty cool guy. His family happens to be one of the great noble houses, if you weren't already aware. Wow. Oh. Well... Isn't this a nice coincidence? The headmaster would like to speak with the three of you. Glad to meet you. You certainly look the part of the top students of the grade. How very reassuring. Now for the reason I've called you here. To select the student representative for the second year class. I would like it to be one of you standing before me. This is excellent, Alto. One step closer to fulfilling your dream. Yeah, you're right. Of course, only one of you can be the representative. To that end, I've devised a special trial for the three of you. We need to find and then bring back a fairy flower by the 6 p.m. bell. Fairy flowers are quite rare and often used to craft potions. And there is only one fairy flower that blooms in the forest. That means whoever's fastest wins. Why are you even standing here with us? That's silly to ask. This will decide the next student representative. So of course I would need to compete against you. I have no idea why the headmaster didn't invite me to join you. Most likely because you are currently failing all nine subjects, young master. Well, it is what it is. Just stay on your corner and don't get in our way. I would say the same goes for you, Lilia. And it will be a breeze with my most excellent partner helping me. Summon! Francois! Ta-da! Francois simply adores gobbling tree sap and honey. I for sure got this in the bag. <laughs> That's right, I almost forgot. There are plant monsters living in the enchanted forest. How sad. It's eating me! I will stay behind and attempt to rescue the young master. Please proceed without us. You sure have your hands full with this one. 
<laughs> that must be the fairy flower. That was easier to find than originally expected. But, uh... Wait, that's a Cerberus, isn't it? How are we gonna try and get past that thing? <clears throat> What's this we about? I mean, it's not like we're actually working together as some sort of team on this. What is that? This is an invisibility potion. Wow! Only a handful of graduates are good enough to make one of those. Well, think I'm cool yet? But why do you even have such a high-level potion on you? I got it so I could sneak unnoticed late at night into your room. <clears throat> I mean, just in case I needed it for something like this. Wow. Oh, wait, but a Cerberus has a really great sense of smell, right? Look closer at it. Huh? That big puppy's licking snot everywhere. He must be sick, therefore unable to smell. <sighs> Watch and learn. Alto? Easy peasy. Um, you stick out like a sore thumb. I, I know! I just need to take off my clothes! I forgot about that. Why are you watching? D sorry Wait. Hold on a sec. At this very moment, I'm basically stripping naked right in front of Alto! Uh, you sure you don't want to watch? I'm sure I don't want to watch. <laughs> this is way more embarrassing than I thought it'd be. I know he can't see me, but... No, I'm fine. Watch me. I'm going to win and be the student rep! Is she going to be alright? This would be a lot more fun if we could see her. The question is... Do you really want to let her go? At this rate, she's going to win. Uh. Oh, I almost forgot! I have to do something! Uh. Silver meal, that power. What was it you gave me yesterday? Hmm? Oh, that? That was all yours. That was the mana you'd given me before. I amplified it and gave it back. Amplified it? Yeah, I made it richer. Your mana is especially pure. Can you amplify it again, then? I don't need to amplify your mana now. Smiting that drooling oversized puppy will be as easy as baking a pie. It's that easy? Although, of course, I'll need some more mana from my beloved master to help me accomplish that. Huh? Uh. 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 Hey, hold on! Vermeil, what are you doing? <laughs> I need mana. This is just what we have to do.
so exhausted. I'm impressed you were able to attack after I took your mana. Good work, cutie. Lilia? Take it. Are you sure? I lost, okay? You deserve to take it back to the Headmaster. you a chocolate banana crepe. Oh, splendid! I've never had one of those before. <sighs> hmm? Huh? It'd be no fair if I'm the only one enjoying this. Especially when it is so delicious. Try it! here at the Academy. The Dragon Riders, huh? That Rex guy was one of them, wasn't he? Our experiences with them haven't uh, been very good. Hmm. Well, I can't say I know what you mean, but Captain Chris as a leader is pretty incredible. She founded the Dragon Riders and led them to a position of power and popularity. Even the Royal Air Force is trying to scout her out for when she graduates. But that's not all! She's one of only seven gold squares at the Academy. And also... She's an executive officer on the student council. Whoa, really? Yeah, so it just goes to show. People like her are proof that you can be blessed with the wealth of talent, just like I am. If she's a gold square, she must be of incredible talent. Incredible doesn't even begin to cover it. <gasps> so you really can earn gold while still here studying as a student. Mm -hmm. What? You confused? <sighs> the student council are the top students at our school. 
And as Marx just explained to us, there are seven gold squares currently ranked at the Academy. Five of them are executive officers on the student council. Those officers are selectively chosen from different committees or clubs to form the highest ranking body one can have at the Academy. People say not even our illustrious professors can touch them. And not only that, but the student council president is close to earning their platinum rank as well. I wish that could be me right now. Really? That wouldn't be so hard for you to accomplish. Stop. I can't breathe. Hey, are you insane? We're in public! So you don't mind if we're doing it behind closed doors? Don't try to twist the issue! I have no idea what you this mean to say. This is just business as usual. Honestly! I hate her so much! She's got ulterior motives, I just know it! Ulterior motives? Like what? I'll tell you like what! It's weird that his familiar is some random human! Whoa! You wear some weird stuff under your uniform? Mm-hmm. And you must have heard that attack of hers in the forest, right? She knocked that creature right out! I don't think even a gold square could take out a Cerberus with one hit like that. I see your point. It's difficult to believe a novice could accomplish that. I know! There's no doubt she's hiding something. From us and Alto. Just you watch. I'll expose her for the fraud that she truly is! You know what? You must really like Alto a lot to be so worked up like this. Ah! Am I wrong? No, you're right! But it's not like that! It's just, we've known each other for so long! Of course I'm worried about who he's hanging out with! <laughs> I see then. Well, in that case, you may want to hurry and do something quick. Uh. The longer you know someone close like that, the more your feelings can start to strain your relationship. Well, uh... uh hold on! Where is that harlot?! Oh. <laughs> what are you doing here?! Please. I explicitly told you to wait outside for me. Aww. I tried to be good and change in the hall, but I got chastised for doing that. And besides, that was a changing room, right? Yeah, the voice changing room, you moron! I can't believe how jealous I am right now. I mean, I can't believe you did something perverse like that! Besides, Alto was just changing clothes. I mean, come on, even I would want to peek at that! Huh? Never mind! Anyway, you should keep your lascivious familiar locked in your room! Uh? You should be ashamed of yourself! Ashamed! Ah! We don't want to stand out and draw the eye of the student council. Especially after that big public fight we had with that dragon rider Rex the other day. Those powerful students. We'll just have to send them all flying if they bother us. Then you'll be a gold square in no time. Dream accomplished. Did you hear a single word I just said? Could the two of you please figure it out and get it together for all our sakes? I would like to have a normal, peaceful life here at the... Oh my gosh, the so Goodness me. We're six minutes, 52 seconds late thanks to someone. Have you anything to say? You talking about me? What was I supposed to do? Skip feeding time altogether? You observed the trial for the second year representative, right? Tell me, do any of them have dragons? Enough idle chatter, everyone. We're still on the job. that woman over there oh god i see so what you're saying long story short you lost a duel to an underclassman one who doesn't even have a familiar no it wasn't a duel it was just a regular fight and he totally had his familiar with him and from what i've seen she's a human a human woman this underclassman's piqued my interest. <laughs> you were quick to make your incompetence known. You bitch! Uh, don't glare.
glare at me like that, you fool. <coughs> you begged me to let you join the Dragon Riders. But sadly, your story leaves me to conclude. Your dragon was just a big lizard. You little... <clears throat> You've sullied my shoe. Clean it. Do enough chores for us and I might let you back in. She was right about you guys after all. What's this? You're just a dumb club full of braggarts. Screw your pathetic chores, I quit! <gasps> Bro, are you all right? <laughs> Alto Goldfield, what an interesting little boy you must be. So why are you guys visiting me? Because we heard that you were carried to the infirmary? How'd you get hurt like that? didn't need to do that for me. I'm not really all that hurt. Just got into a scuffle with some bitch. What? Just a scuffle? What did you do to get hurt like this? What did he do? It's my fault this happened! Now bro's not a dragon rider! Hey, sophomore. How do you feel about dinosaurs? How do I feel about them? Well, I guess they're big and kind of scary, but I think also, well, they're really cool. That's how I feel about them anyway. Get out of here. It ain't your fault I'm stuck in here. <sighs> hey, Alto! Don't you remember what you keep saying to Vermeil? Listen to me, I know you heard him too back there. You don't need to pick a fight with anyone! I appreciate that. But I... You're really challenging me to a duel, second year Alto. How very interesting. You do understand the situation you're putting yourself in, right? Now's your only time to back out. I see then. This must be the reason Rex lost to you. Very well. I respect your courage, second year. But you need to learn how to bow to your elders and not to disrespect authority. So I'll beat that harshly into you. Summon! quiet in here. Who cares about being quiet right now? Do you have any idea what Alto's doing? Huh? Interesting. You are quite powerful for just a second year. Rabbit, but not a dragon. This here, 
is a punishment. Formulaic execution and cast speed are all laudable for a student of his year. But that's not what startles me. <laughs> it's this. You took my fire attack head on with no protection. You're no typical mage, are you? Hmm. Aren't you curious? So, Alto, I'm going to give you everything I have. <laughs> We're going to settle this right here and now. Yeah, right. Yes! There's no way she can counter that. to counter those crystals you threw. Although, chances are, you may not have wanted to let me mount my dragon. Whoa, better watch out. She dodged it in midair? How did she turn that tide on a dragon? They're so hard to control! like a rat. Fitting metaphor, as I watch you scurry about beneath me. This is your last and only chance I'll give to you. Get down and beg for your life. Do that, and I'll let you off with a trip to the infirmary, just like Rex. <sighs> Why? Why do you go around looking down on everyone? Seriously? That's a dumb question. You must know why everyone is so afraid of dragons, right? Is it their stone-crushing teeth? Or their iron-slicing claws? Or perhaps their earth-scorching breath? No! It's their wings! Their ability to fly through the heavens gives them their status! The sky is mine! And soon you will understand why all of you insects crawling on the ground are beneath me! Surprise, surprise. There she goes again. That figures. She was exactly like that with my Cerberus, too. <clears throat> you sure? You don't want to see the end? <sighs> the duel's done. There is no coming back from that sort of attack. <sighs> All right. We'll wait and see. <laughs> Hang on! I'll lift the shield! No, don't! But... I'll be fine. You just make sure to build up enough mana. I'll send that moron flying with a single hit. See? You can't fight me when I control the field from above! Why do I look down on everyone like they're beneath me? Because this is how high I stand above you! A familiar is the measure of a mage's power! Powerful mages have familiars fitting of their standings! Talentless weaklings have pitiful insects as their familiars! Rex's familiar was a gigantic lizard who couldn't even fly! Why in the world wouldn't I look down on both of them? Sophomore, how do you feel about dinosaurs? Big and kind of scary, but I think also, well, they're really cool! That's how I feel about them anyway. You're wrong. A familiar is your one precious companion. That goes for everyone lucky enough to have one. Then prove you're not inferior and beat me! You challenged me to this duel. 
I gave you a chance to back down. These duels are how you convey your beliefs through magical prowess when words aren't enough. So come at me, second year alto! Know that I, Chris Westland, will crush you and your weak little pathetic beliefs to dust. Well, she's not wrong there. Okay then, we'll just have to prove it to her. You and I will finish this, and crush her beliefs into dust while doing so. Huh? Impossible. They still had this much mana left? After casting all those spells... Golden mana and a human familiar. How interesting! Chris was quite the impressive feat, Alto. Oh, well, no, it wasn't really. However, you shouldn't challenge others to duels on a whim. You managed to have won this time around. But if you had lost, who knows what you would have been made to do. Sir, Alto didn't do it on a whim! I know. He had reason. And that was important enough, yes? Yes. That's good to know. But try not to overdo it like that from now on. Understood? Y yes thank you! <sighs> I was scared for a sec. But wow, Professor Obsidian is so cool! I can see why all the girls fawn over him. Yeah, I guess I can see that. So is Professor Obsidian your type too, Lilia? <gasps> Why would you say that? Of course not! How dare you imply that! <laughs> the hell are you doing that for? If you lose, you do chores. Those are the rules, and as captain, you better believe I'm gonna follow them. Also... I'm sorry. Uh, huh? <laughs> Don't try to give me that disgusted scowl. You should treasure this rare little gift from an admiring underclassman. Give me that. You gotta start over from the bottom, right? Finally, then. We're on the same level. Uh... <laughs> Don't push yourself too hard. You're gonna reopen those cuts. Uh, remind me who cut me in the first place! She said she wanted a taste of something else, too. You're positively glowing this morning. You think so? <sighs> I love you a whole lot. <gasps> no, 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 no! That's not what she meant by that at all! Besides, Vermeil is... Alto? Huh? Sorry, I blanked out for a moment. I'm right behind you. What am I even thinking? Still... Can a demon really fall in love with a human? You want to know if a demon can fall in love with a human? Yes, sir. I thought you might know the answer, or at least point me in the right direction on where to find out. 
It's correct that the demons of the ancient past play a vital role in the history of magic. But a demon-human romantic coupling, well... Curious. I didn't take you as a romantic. Oh, no, I'm not. I just... Let me think now. Looking back on all my research, there are indeed old folk stories about women bearing the children of demons. And not only that, but also lust-craving incubi and succubi are said to exist as well. Succubi, too? However, it's difficult to say if their actions are motivated by love. So, uh, could a succubus perhaps be interested in a human man? Possibly. <laughs> but it would only be because she desires to drain his mana. <laughs> Nothing happened at all. Is something bothering you? Oh, no. Everything's well with me. I just noticed you've been moving your food around but not eating. Not sure why you're not hungry, but I am, so... For me? Hmm? Look, it's just that... I mean, how do I put it? You're acting really strange today. Do you like me just for my mana? What kind of question is that? Are you only staying here at the academy? Because you want to drain my mana? Be honest. <sighs> what a silly little boy for thinking that. Is this why you were acting strange? Because you're worried that's all I'm after? I, uh... I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't need to apologize for that. But, tell me, what made you start to even think that? Because you always try to jump me and drain my mana. Well, that's only because I have to. I need mana in order to survive in this place. I'm totally aware of all that, but... Alto. <sighs> my mana. I should only kiss someone I love. Isn't that what you said? <gasps> Besides, tell me why it is that you're giving me such a hard time, huh? What about you, uh -huh. mister? Come on. You could kiss me back sometimes, too, you know. Obsidian? Huh? Hey, so I'm sorry about that random question I asked yesterday. <laughs> Don't mention it. I am a teacher. It's my job to answer questions. But I am curious why you asked me that. Uh, um, I, uh, I was just kind of randomly curious is all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad everything seems to have worked out for you. You did seem a bit worried. Huh? When you left yesterday, you looked a little like you were on the verge of death. I'm glad you're at least feeling much better today. <laughs> yeah, demon or human, romance is not easy on the old heart. Do you perhaps have a special someone? Uh, uh, I think I'm still not ready to have that kind of relationship just yet. Well, all right then. Regardless, do be careful. It's just like they say. Every woman is a feisty little demon. Agree. Make fun of me. Just say something. Don't leave me hanging here. Um, hello, Professor? I heard that you wanted to see me. 
Ah, uh, yes, there you are. You see, there is something I need you to do for me. Do for you? Like what? Well, <gasps> it's something important that only someone like you can do for me. Um, Professor? I really, really like you. <sighs> yes, I know that. And Emma, I love you too. year. Who was it this time? Emma Abeline. A fourth year Silver Square. Specializing in ice magic. Witnesses confirm it took five people, including the dorm prefect, to break down the door using hammers. The walls of the room were coated in thick ice. It took two hours to extract the student. How curious. Ice magic is well known to be extremely mana inefficient. A silver square could not possibly possess the mana needed to create ice that would come out to be that thick. And as of right now, this makes the third silver square that has fallen into a coma. This isn't random. Which means someone is behind it, yes? Our president is especially troubled by this latest news. With how empathetic she is, she must be in great pain from her shattered heart having to hear such terrible things. Unfortunate, but without cause or culprit, there's little we can do, for the time being. Shinoji, do you not see? The President is in great pain because of this. Understood. I can't promise anything, but I will do what I can. She's obsessed with her. Surely the Silver Square's power merely ran amok. Ah, all right. Now you need to just hold still, please. So I meant to ask about this before. But why do you own one of these things? Huh? Oh, so I can be sure to measure my height every single day. Oh, dear. Wait, what? Don't you judge me! It makes total sense! I'm getting a little taller each and every day, I swear! Uh-huh, sure you are. So tell me then, how much taller am I than you are right now? Do you want me to curl up and cry? Uh, this is turning into a real downer for me. Why are they making me write this stupid report? Okay. Now, class, are you getting to be friends with your familiars yet? Today we talked about lots of different types of familiars and their main features. I'm sure many of you learned something new and exciting about your own familiars in the discussion. I wish. Not like they would talk about demons in this class, though. On that note, I'd like you all to write a detailed report about your familiars and their varied and specialized habits. Huh? Be sure to follow the guide on your handout to make sure you cover what is being asked. Uh, a, a written report? Start with their height and weight first, then list their features, their daily activities, and the foods they favor the most. Go into as much depth as you possibly can when giving your assessment. Make sure you measure every single last nook and cranny. Come on, Vermeil, stop it! Don't! Please don't do that! Um, maybe we shouldn't be doing this. Shh, be quiet! You heard what kind of report we have to write up? My auto is in grave danger! Don't you care? Uh, honestly, no, not really. Besides, something is off about her. I'm not going to let her trick me with her human familiar drivel. How did it go in there? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What? She's such a conniving... Ah! Just you watch. Today's the day I expose that sneaky snake oil harlot for who she really is! That 
Sounds all well and good, but this is the boy storm. How are you getting in there? <laughs> oh, honestly, Cheryl, whoever do you think you're hanging out with? Look! With this invisibility potion, I've got nothing to fear! Then I can use this copy key to get straight to Alto and into his bedroom. But why do you have one of those? Cheryl, you stay out here and watch my clothes. All right. Oh, me! You're gonna have to write down what type I am. What will you put? I don't really have a choice. I'll just put that you're a regular human female. I mean, what else can I do? You know there's no way I could get away with putting down the truth. Oh, I'm also gonna need your head size, so if you could please get rid of everything. You got it! You need to be more careful, Vermeil. What if someone found out what you really were? Please try a little harder to hide it or else it'll get bad. thinking that. Mm -hmm. They don't give out gold squares just for sheer magical power alone. It's awarded for accomplishments in magical research as well. But you know, Chris was exceptionally strong out there, wasn't she? The whole time we were dueling, it was strange. It felt like she was going easy on us. If she'd come at us with everything she had, we probably wouldn't have won. Oh, you may have a point there. <laughs> But don't worry, I promise I'll always try to win every duel we're in. I see it like this. With you by my side, I don't ever want to taste defeat. I... is that so? Yeah. Mm. Oh, for things it likes, can I just write sweets? Huh? Oh, sure. Is that late already? Hurry, Vermeil, we need to go shopping. Right.
first familiar I ever summoned was a gigantic egg. <laughs> Only dragons had huge eggs, and I thought it wouldn't be strong right away. If I took care of it and incubated it, I'd get myself a powerful dragon familiar. <laughs> Just you wait! Whoa! What a huge egg! <clears throat> oh? Chris! Wow, so cool! Uh, that you're familiar? It's way bigger than mine is! Uh, um, yeah. I can't believe the super genius Chris is actually talking to me. <laughs> I can't wait till it hatches. I bet it will be super cool and gigantic. Uh, um, y yeah. I'm going to incubate it so it'll turn out to be real big and awesome when it hatches into a fierce dragon. Awesome! That I can't wait to meet your dragon. It's going to be huge, I bet. That was how I got to know her. we should make for dinner tonight. Lettuce is on sale. Alto! Let's get some dessert! <laughs> Come on now. You can't just live off dessert. You need to eat a balanced diet. Don't you worry about me. I'm eating other food too. <sighs> I'm sorry. We're short on money this month, so there are no snacks or desserts for you. <laughs> Now let's go. I'll buy you some nice dessert some other time. <laughs> Seriously? Roast beef is yummy too, you know. Nuh uh! This is ridiculous. Vermeule can be so childish sometimes. <sighs> will you clean your plate tonight? <laughs> and will you clean the bathroom? Fine, so be it. You can have one dessert for now. <gasps> but, just this one, all right, for- <laughs> I love you! <laughs> hey, don't do that! Come on now! What's wrong? I mean, I'm not even trying to drain your mana right now. Th th that's not the issue here! You said if you love someone, you can kiss them whenever you want, right? That's what you said! I didn't say that! Listen now, Vermeil. It's just, we're out in public for everyone to see right now. Oh, I see. Huh? If you want me to just drain your mana, all you have to do is ask and I will obey. Huh? Look for you, Captain Chris. Rex! Funny how things work out. You always seemed so far away. But now you're on the floor beneath me. You little bastard! Just what the hell? Did you go and do to yourself? I do? 
I'm not sure. And I don't really care either. Again? You couldn't have picked a better time. I must pay you back. For what you just did for me, you saved me time looking for you! Uh, are you okay? Big bro? Please, Chris. Alto, listen to me. You must run. Did you do this to Chris? Did you? Huh, Rex? <laughs> well, of course it was me! You see anyone else here? All right, then. Uh... <sighs> oh, hell no. This is happening. I hate that look! <gasps> His mana. I hate her. I hate you. I hate! I hate! I friggin' hate! I hate everyone! I feel great! Better than great! And if I get rid of you, I'll... That's enough! I punish you, Rex Forward, in the name of pure justice. <sighs> Greetings, Madam President. Are you okay? Well, are you okay? <sighs> You've taken some damage. After fighting such vermin, you should be utterly ashamed of yourself. <gasps> you don't have to put her down like that. W wait. <sighs> Don't just barge in, especially uh, when it ain't your fight. Uh, I'm still not done. Rex! Wait a second! Rex! Come on, Rex! Get your ass up! any knowledge as to what just happened what kind of power he was tapping into now 
idea. It's been three days since Rex. The total number of victims is five. We did learn one thing from the Rex Forward incident. Someone is most definitely behind this. But we don't know if it's caused by a drug or black magic, so we can't guarantee we'll be able to help the afflicted. This incident is most likely... Hey! This discussion is not over! I don't get her. Rex Forward was the student she punished the other day, wasn't he? She certainly enjoys being rough and a disciplinarian with the toys that she keeps. But dislikes when others mistreat what she perceives as hers. Finally! The bronze certification exam is nearly here! Yeah, that's right. It's nearly time. Hey, what's this that has you distracted? I know you're still thinking about what happened with Rex and all, but you need to focus on the road ahead. What will happen if you fail the bronze exam now? That dinosaur freak will get all worked up in his ginormous ego about it being his fault. Yeah, he really would. I know. So you need to pass it on your first try. <laughs> and then... When he finally wakes up, you can say you're on his level now and rub it in his dumb dino face. That, that's kind of rude, Lilia. Alto! What's the problem? Nothing. I'm just a little tired is all. Can I go back to our room to rest? What? Are you alright? If you're not feeling well, then I can come too. It's fine. I'm good. Your exam is coming up. You need to study at the library, right? <sighs> That was kind of strange. She never leaves you by yourself. I... I hope Vermeula's going to be okay. She can walk back to the dorm by herself. She's not a little child. Yeah, but that's not what I was talking about. Vermeule's just been acting a little weird ever since the thing with Rex went down. Enough about her! Th this is our one chance to hang out together! Uh Alone! Let's study in my room. No, a real proper study room. It'll be easier for us to focus with no distractions. <laughs> oh, sure thing. Whatever works for you. I knew I recognized that power. you surprise so do I you're a teacher right I'm professor obsidian I teach magic history is Alto not with you today I think this is the first time we've ever spoken even the teachers around here are talking about you being Alto's hey, professor. familiar You did all this, didn't you? <laughs> Honestly, miss, I can't say I understand what you mean. What exactly are you inferring that I did? Come on, you don't need to bluff. I've been on to you for a while now, Professor. I can smell the low tier practically clinging to you now. Low tier what? What you're trying to do with them is none of my business. And frankly, I don't care. But I recommend you stop. It's too much power for a human like you to handle. Are you going to tell him about me? <laughs> I don't care enough to. I told you, it's really none of my business. I just wanted to give you a little warning. If you want to do it, then do it. But... 
You lay a single finger on Alto, and I'll be sure to rip you and your soul to shreds. <laughs> so I see. This is perfect. You're the real thing. You are quite right. From your point of view, mine's definitely low tier without question. Likely not even worth your time to consider. If you understand that about you already, then you should stop what you're doing. Nothing good will come from it. <laughs> well, you're mistaken. Low tier is well worth it. <sighs> now, I have the opportunity to obtain the real thing. <gasps> What are you? I should have expected that. But, small as it may be, it's still quite necessary for our success. I'm afraid I cannot let you pass. Just one swing. 
hold her on. So this is the power of the real thing. I'm afraid I cannot let you pass. You will engage with me for the time being. How annoying. For me. Mr. Goldfield, this was no easy project. I had to create a means of causing madness, but condensing it into a liquid form was back-breaking labor. After all, it was custom-made, you know. Injecting it causes the intended recipient's powers to run amok and madness to take over. And it works on true demons, as you can see. Finding the right guinea pigs to test was proving to be extremely difficult. I had to use five in total to be satisfied. But in the end, they came through and served their purpose. Now my research has led me to this incredible success. What, what does all that even mean right now? You still don't understand. <gasps> the truth is, I am behind everything. Do you understand, Alto Goldfield? That's right. Everything. See the greatest calamity known to man! Who wouldn't want something like this in the palm of their hand?
felt. As if I were adrift in deep water. Dark. Cold. Nothingness. Though, it was something I so desired. Yes, that's right. I... I... No. I moved without thinking. Besides... I am... I am your master, Vermeil. Alto... I am... I... you die. You're the one person I'll never let go. can't be right. <laughs> Even death is no match for them. Is that what a real demon can do? A real demon, a real demon, a real demon, a real demon, a real one. <gasps> what the hell is this? Why did it go down like this? Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it all the hell! What, what's that? I won't be made a fool of. 
This only proves that real demons don't mean shit! I won't bother to kill you. Not after what Alto did to save your precious life. You are. How are your injuries? Oh, yeah. I was shocked. They're mostly fine. Even the doctor was stunned. I see. I'm really glad to hear that. So, hey, for me, uh, back there, when I was. I pierced your heart. With my attack. You were dead. Wait. Then you're the one who actually healed me back there? Not exactly. The only reason your heart beats is because my mana has knit that one together for you. What? 
What are you doing apologizing to me, Vermeil? I don't care how you went about resurrecting me. You saved my life. And my momentary death wasn't your fault, so stop thinking that. Look, because of you, I'm walking around here right as rain. You're not. What? I mean, you are. But you aren't. The heart beating in your chest, that's my heart beating, not yours. What you have now is the heart of a true demon. This means that if I die, then you die alongside me. Uh, well, wait, hold on, does that mean that... Yes, that is what it means. If you die, then I die as well. <gasps> Why would you do something like that? I mean, hey, you're a full-on demon, Vermeil! You should live forever! Centuries, millennia even! <sighs> and... I'll die like every other human. all Vermeil had to say about that. I heard the student council president fought against a co-conspirator that day, but we haven't any clues about them. Professor Obsidian was hauled away by the Ortigia city guard. Though many mysteries still hung in the air, the incident was, for the moment, resolved. going on here? <sighs> the students in comas all woke up and were feeling fine. Alto, it's time. Oh, I didn't realize it was this late. Since that day, a few things have changed. My heart, for instance, now needs for Meal's man at a function. <sighs> How are you feeling? Anything feel off? No, not at all. I feel fine. And for Meal, well, she. she stopped talking to me so much. Now hold on, for Meal! What? What's the matter? Is there something you would like to tell me? Why are you acting so cold towards me nowadays? Why, you ask? You already know why. I'm a monster. A scourge they call disaster. If I continue to be around you, then I will only corrupt your innocence even more. <sighs> are you not afraid of me? You saw how terrifying my true form is. Face it, Alto. I'm an ugly, vile monster. Th that's not true at all. Don't you worry. I'll accept responsibility for doing this. I'll return the mana you always thoughtfully give me into demon mana to feed your heart. It may take decades, though, for the heart to properly take hold. But once it does, my role in your life will be over. What do you mean? Did you not hear? I shouldn't be around you, Alto. I'll just go hide away in another old book. In the long run, that'll be better for you, too. For Meal, You're making me mad. You don't get it, do you? We can't live this normal life together anymore. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? scared of you, Vermeil? Well, I... thought uh, maybe... <sighs> no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You, Vermeil, are my one and only familiar. I need you by my side now and always!
Will you get it then? Yeah, anyways, all I'm saying is, I think you should only kiss someone that you're truly in love with. You know what I'm saying? My familiar. I need you by my side now and always. are all morning Professor Obsidian. He sure was popular. It's not just the girls. What? Why are the boys morning Professor Obsidian? It's not <laughs> him! We're mourning the absence of Vermeil! Oh, Vermeil! Why is not here to gaze upon her ravishing beauty? What's your deal? Why haven't you been bringing her around lately? Uh, um, yeah. Well, you see, Vermeil hasn't been feeling very well lately. <laughs> what? Is she alright? Yeah, she's fine. But she's resting just in case. No big deal. <gasps> Do you mind if I have a little alone time? Huh? Yeah, sure thing. I wonder if buying her some dessert will help cheer her up. So, you're a demon. Alto let me know you were, though I knew you were hiding something shady. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. For lying to you. Don't give me that sad little look. You're making me feel like some kind of big bully. Sorry. What for? Why are you apologizing? Nothing. I just thought that- I don't care if you're a big bad demon or some floozy, so you don't need to apologize to me for it. I mean, come on! It's not that big of a deal anyway. It's not that big of a deal. This is, though. In the past few days, did you do anything weird to Alto? I... Uh... I might have. <sighs> I thought so. But whatever. Alto seems to be fine despite everything that happened to him. So I'll give you a pass this time, Vermeil, but only this time. Are you saying that you're not afraid of me? Why would I? Wait a second, are you planning on coming after me? Maybe suck my blood? N no nothing of the sort, I promise. Then there's absolutely no reason to be afraid of you. <gasps> I know that, but I have found humans like you always fear my- You're an idiot. Huh? An idiot! Y you don't have to say it twice. You're seriously standing over there right now feeling bad about being a demon? Moping like that isn't going to make anything better. I know, but because I'm a demon, Alto got hurt. History repeats. <sighs> ah, for the love of God, I swear you're such a clueless mess. I can't believe I was so worried about a floozy like you. <laughs> who cares if you're a demon? And who cares if you're powerful? Demon or human, it doesn't matter. All that does matter is if you're a good person or a bad one. What you are isn't an issue. I couldn't care less, but what I really do care about is how you feel about Alto. <laughs> how I feel about Alto? Precisely. Also, how Alto feels about you. I know you've got weird little hang-ups about being an evil, destructive demon and all that. But give your master some more credit, would you? If you ever get out of hand again, Alto will be there to stop you. <clears throat> I mean, you're his familiar. You should learn to lean on him more. <laughs> 
at any time. We're all ready to risk our lives for the sake of our familiars. That's just how we feel. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're actually a pretty decent person. A decent person? What did you think I was before? for me will run off to now. She's not here. I know she said she wanted to be alone, but... Uh, for meal. Hey, did you go out by yourself? Yeah. Are you feeling better than you were before? Yeah. Great. I'm fine. Uh... Thank goodness. I was getting to feel so worried about you. Alto! Huh? I'm... I'm home. I know. Welcome home. Uh, Alto... Uh... I... I'm a demon. And I've done terrible things to you. But... When you said those kind words to me, I felt so happy in the moment. But if I stay by your side, I might hurt you once again. It's happened before, and I just didn't know what it was that I could really say to you. But despite that, despite everything, I still... I want to be with you too, Alto! I know I'm a demon, but I want to be together with you! Uh, oh, thank goodness! Uh, wh why are you so relieved to hear that? Because, I mean, the other night I went on that big crazy rant and I felt like I was... I mean, I kind of forced you into saying what you did. To be honest, I wasn't sure if you were really happy to have me. But now I know. <sighs> I swear to you, Vermeil, I'm going to work really hard to be the best master for you. But you're already the best master a demon can have. Oh, stop. Do you really think so, though? Because it's all right if you do. If you need me, lean on me. I'll have your back. You're my familiar, after all, and it's my duty to protect you. If you want me to do anything, all you gotta do is say the word. I'll do all that I can. Anything at all? Really and truly? Yep, anything at all. For example, if you wanted a crepe or donuts, I stopped somewhere on my way back. I... I want... to kiss you. Was all you actually wanted from me? Because you kiss me like this all the time, Vermeil. I want you to kiss me, Alto. Huh? Earlier today, I went down to the waterway for a bit. I just wanted to be alone. But even by myself, I found... I just couldn't stop thinking about you for one second. size they had on whoa easy now at least button up the front i would but i can't get the buttons to close <sighs> i'm going to die of embarrassment in front of the professor again for now i'll lend you a uniform so have her wear that instead thank you professor i'm so sorry for this huh? fine we'll go shopping for some new clothes later Starting today, you're going to accompany me to school again, aren't you? Yes. After all, you need me for some of your classes, remember? Besides, 
I'm your loyal and faithful familiar, aren't I? And I need your mana. That you do. All right. If you're ready, then let's go. <laughs> I knew the professor would fail. That's no surprise to me. I told you there was no point letting that guy team up with us. That was an utter joke. Ugh, such a pain in the ass. Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. Hey, listen, I'm a tad busy. I gotta go. Sheesh. You're too soft too, Kohakumiya. Trying to protect that guy was such a waste of your time. You're better than that. Still, his research was quite fascinating to observe. Had he been able to present it to the world, he might have received our title. <laughs> that wasn't going to happen. And you know the reason why, Helio. Shams like that aren't gonna master the art of magic. Why ever pretend otherwise? <laughs> approaching. Making sure our familiars are in tip-top shape is part of being a good mage. R right you are. I'd forgotten about it with all the stuff that's happened. The bronze exam is coming up. <clears throat> yes, right. Now, Vermeil. It's time for us to hit the ground running. You got it.
Alto Goldfield. Under the rights and permissions granted to me as a student council executive, I hereby take you into our custody. Mm -hmm. huh? Now, would you please accompany us? Calm down. We don't have any reason to believe that they found out Vermeil is a demon. you to become hospitalized. This injury was a direct result of our mishandling. What? No way. It wasn't. In addition, we still lack information. For example, we don't know who it was that I engaged in combat. And as for asking Professor Obsidian, we are now unable to inquire about the incident. Huh? Just yesterday, unfortunately. Obsidian escaped from the Ortigia Arcane Jail. What do you mean that he escaped? Fortunately for us, you fought against the Professor in his transformed state. If there is anything you can tell us, however small you might think it is, we would be most grateful for the information. Wow. I thought this was going to go much differently. Maybe I don't need to worry right now. Yes, of course I will. I'll tell you everything that I possibly can. Thank you. Shifting now to a slightly different mode of topic. Is there anything, perhaps, you're hiding from the student council? <gasps> <gasps> you would be wise to choose your next words very carefully, Alto Goldfield. I let my guard down. That bastard! You really think something elementary like this will be able to stop me? I don't, not in the least. But I only need to slow you down for a few seconds. <sighs> that should be more than enough time for us to incapacitate your master. I will ask you one last time. Is there anything that you're hiding from the student council? <laughs> no, Alto. There. So, you have a demon's heart? Unbelievable. You made a contract with a demon? Yes, and I kept quiet about it. I'm sorry, but you <laughs> got it wrong. Stay right there. Vermeule might be a demon, but she's not a bad demon. And what happened with Professor Obsidian wasn't her fault. So please, I don't care what happens to me. If I can't be a student anymore, then fine, expel me. <gasps> Alto, but... I don't care. At first, I only summoned you to advance a grade. But right now, you're far more important than school. <sighs> and don't worry. I can make my dream come true another way. And if that doesn't work, then it means I never deserved it in the first place. I am Vermeule's master. And if someone wants to harm her, I'll oppose them with all I have. Even if that someone ends up being the student council. <clears throat> you seem to be misunderstanding me. I've no intention of interfering with either you or your familiar. Huh? You won't be expelled. We won't even inform the professors about Vermeil's true form. Madam President, you cannot be serious! Do as you please. A demon? This may work in our favor. After all, one of our school's principles is, all familiars are seen as equal. I completely agree with the president. Shinoji! Our perpetrator of this incident was a member of our own faculty. 
Until we know the identity of the other perpetrators, we cannot put our faith in any of the school's faculty members. Doesn't it matter? She's still a demon? She's far too dangerous to be here! There's nothing to worry about, Jessica. <sighs> you heard their story just now. As master and familiar, their lives have become intertwined. If something should happen, then I need to behead him, and Vermeil will simply fall dead alongside him. <laughs> I see, Madam President. Tell us, what are you plotting? Nothing. It's just right now. I believe you two to be trustworthy individuals. There's nothing more than that. I did tell you that you may do as you please. Did I not convey that? If you say she's not a danger, then I believe you. Right then. I'll tell Goldfield.
Right then. Alto Goldfield. Now, would you like to join the executive committee of the Honored Student Council? <sighs> you want me to join the council? Yes. I presume it's something you'd be interested in as well. Is it? Just so you can keep a closer eye on Vermeil and me? If that's how you'd like to see it, then so be it. You are harboring a demon within the walls of our academy. But I truly do want you as a council member of our executive committee. You successfully dueled Chris, one of the top five most powerful mages at this institution of magic. Your familiar may be a demon, but even so, she's a formidable opponent. Then there's this most recent incident. Where Chris got hurt. We still have no idea what motivates the perpetrators. If you say your familiar acts with no ill intentions, then would you not be interested in using your powers to protect the sanctity of the Academy? <laughs> Did you know that? We've never had a second year student on the council before! <laughs> really, is that so? Really? You should be real proud of yourself! Well, this came out of the blue, didn't it? I was worried for a bit there, but I guess... Hey! I'm happy for you! Huh? I mean, you've always wanted to move up. You're incredible, Alto! <laughs> uh, th thanks All right, then! Mark my words, Alto Goldfield! I won't let you get too far ahead of me! And on that bronze exam, I'll score better than you! <sighs> Why the long face? What? Oh, I just... After all the hiding we did, people still ended up finding out what you are. And I feel like the student council forced us into this new position. <sighs> Even if they are spying on you, they won't be on you 24-7. And honestly, Alto, I don't care that they know what I am. Listen, when you're around the council, I want you to be careful. That girl gives me a bad vibe. Like she's not really human. You mean the president? I mean, I guess if I think about it, she was kind of scary. When she repeated her question, and I shook my head at you, you were in real danger. Seriously. Same with that last invitation. If you had turned her down, truthfully, she might have taken off your head without hesitation. Oh, come on, Vermeil. She wouldn't have gone that far with it. That's true. Maybe taking off your head's a stretch, even for her. But there's definitely something abnormal about her. <clears throat> Still, hmm? the President's lack of normalcy aside, yesterday was really an eye-opener. If I had just been a little stronger, I might have been able to protect you better and actually do something. I might have kept your identity a secret, too. If things like that keep happening, eventually, we won't be able to lie to everyone anymore. And if that happens, then you'll be in danger. I want to get stronger. I want to be able to keep you safe. Please don't get the wrong idea. I didn't mean that in a weird way. I just wanted to... Why not? That doesn't bother me. What? How could it not? From you? I was just really happy to hear it. <sighs> in that case, though, I'm going to have to do whatever I can to help you get much stronger than you are now. <gasps> Whoa, hey now! What are you? I can't hear you. You want to keep me safe, don't you? <laughs> yeah, but this has nothing to do with that. Huh? Quiet, you! No one who lets me win can keep me safe! <laughs> At long last, I found it. 
Vermeule might be a demon, but she's not a bad demon. And what happened with Professor Obsidian wasn't her fault. The world's greatest scourge, is she? get even stronger than I am now. So no matter what happens, I can keep Vermeil safe. Look, Vermeil, just you watch. I'll be stronger than the council members one day. No, wait. I'll be the strongest person in the entire world. Setting aside how I got there, I'm on the student council now. I'll learn everything I can from them. I'll work hard, so one day I can say with pride that I'm Vermeil's master. Pardon me, please! this shameless and perverted boy join the ranks of our illustrious council! It's fine. We made a mistake in forgetting to lock the door. This isn't his fault. You mustn't be so lax, Madam President! This is hardly reason for a reprimand, nor reason to be distressed. What?! Oh. A man has seen our nearly naked figures before we're even married! My goodness. Who knew? You're more demure and traditional than I thought. Huh? Huh? Am, am I really being the weird one here? I can't be. Moving right along. Let me show you the reason I've gathered you here. I want you all to examine this. What is it? A magical element used by the mage I fought. However, it's only one part of a much larger whole. never seen this kind of magic before. You said it was a simple paper golem that you fought, correct? That's interesting. From the investigation done by the Ortigia Police Appraisal Specialists, this form of magic matched up to nothing. At least nothing ever recorded before in the Bank of Magics. An unrecorded form of magic? Within that single piece of paper lies a magic formula immensely complex. In fact, it is so complex, not even the Gold Square appraisal specialist could decipher it. Then that could only suggest... No. Exactly. Those who plunge into the abyss of knowledge and craft new forms of magic. Those whose discoveries revolutionize our world. To those few do we give a title deserving of the nation's respect. I'm afraid. Our enemy may be a platinum square. <sighs> this sucks ass. for you? Could you please get a move on? I mean, it was a real chore acquiring all that. That is beside the point, Iolite. You've broken the paper doll I gave you to communicate with me, haven't you? Man! I always forget how huge you are! Glad I made the trip out to see you in person. Are you listening? At 
any rate, that took a while. Oh my god! It was such a pain! That old high priest was so stubborn, he just wouldn't give in and do what I asked of him! He didn't have to be so annoying! The high priest, you say? You mean Hosfall of the Gilded Tower? You must be jesting. He's by far the most skilled caster of divine magic amongst the Platinum Squares. How were you able to get him to agree? What? I killed him. How else? <laughs> well, it is what it is, you know. Good luck with those demon parts, Koahakumiya. <sighs> What's next? First thing is I have to go change. After that, we head out again. After all, we gotta go pick up the bits that someone, who I shall not name, forgot to take with them. Such a busy little bee. What is this place? A girl is crying. Who is she? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. She's... Right? I think so. 
It would have been so much easier if they'd just let us take it at the Academy. Apprentice mages from all over the nation will be coming here to take the bronze exam. They picked a neutral place, so no one has any advantage over any other student. Hey, look at those guys. Are they from Ortigia? Oh, them. Yeah, they're from Ortigia. Why do I feel like we're standing out right now? Our school is extremely competitive. 50% of our students pass, but at other schools, only 10% may pass. Ortigia is also the only school that requires the passing of bronze to advance to fourth year. Wow, that really makes the bronze exam feel like a way bigger deal than I always thought it would be. Y yeah, you're right. And with that in mind, Marks, I'm surprised you got in here at all. Of course I did, because I have a secret weapon that I can always rely on. Huh? Hmm. It doesn't matter anyway. Don't screw up the exam! All right! I'm totally pumped! We're starting off with the practical exam. Right. I'm gonna start strong and pass that one for sure. That's the spirit! <laughs> There's a lot of people here. And I heard this is only one of ten sites for the practical part of the exam. Oh yeah? This is weird. What's everyone murmuring on about? <gasps> There's something inside that crystal. A flame? <sighs> All right, everyone here? I'll only explain this once, so listen to me! It's him. You know him, Cheryl? That's Colonel Pharynx of the famous Royal Mage Corps. He's the demonic mage specially selected for special ops. I can't believe he's actually our proctor. Your exercise for this year deals with mana provision. This giant crystal behind me is able to measure the precise amount and quality of your mana. But don't just think it's a boring old measurement device. We're testing your ability to supply mana to an entity through this crystal and into this amorphous flame. You will pour as much mana as you possibly can into the contained flame. The amount you're able to provide will determine your practical score. Uh, what now? That sounds easy. So we just need to fill the crystal with mana, right? All right then, let's start with student number one. No. There's no way. This isn't going to be that easy. Executed. You are the top scorer of this group so far. Ah! 
Test seriously. <laughs> Make sure to watch real close. What's up with that guy? It seems that he's a student at another rival school. <laughs> wow, not bad. Yeah, impressive. All right, we can't let ourselves be outdone by him. Absolutely. to its reputation, though this one, unfortunately, only barely scraped by. I suppose. Huh? <laughs> you did good up Quite there! Quite job, man. But, if this is all Ortigia has for us this year, I'll be gravely disappointed. Right! Last one! Number 108! Um, yes! mommy with you? I didn't know we had preschoolers testing. Hold on. Sorry, but only test takers and staff are allowed to enter into No, the they're fine. I got a note about this earlier from Ortigia. She's his familiar. What? Human familiar. I've proctored this test for a very long time, and I've never seen nor heard of such a thing. And she's ginormous. Oh, wow, look at that. It's much bigger up close. Yeah. I knew it. Knew what? It's just, when I looked at it from back there, I had a feeling. It's just as I thought. This is no ordinary crystal. The crystal itself is acting as a pseudo-matrix of formulae. The construction itself is simple but it's enough to guide mana along its path, and eventually out of the crystal. However... Hmm? What's he doing? Why go around it? Here. Right here is where the formula creates a straight line into the center. Excuse me. Um, do we have to do it in front? No. The rules say you can apply mana from wherever you like. <laughs> he caught on to the real test being performed here. Measuring your ability to decipher and understand magical formulae. That crystal is a specially made mana conduit. The location you choose to supply mana from greatly determines your success. And if those potential locations the best spot to supply mana is definitely from the back. Unless you have sufficient knowledge and a keen eye for detecting magical formulae, you won't be able to find that spot. I'm glad we've got someone who's a little better than the rest. I'm happy to report. He passes. <laughs> Alto! Huh? That's not the right spot, is it? You're right. That's not it. <sighs> not that. I promised you. I'd get stronger. Thick and tough to get through. 
But it's nothing compared to the contract with Vermeil. He can supply even more? Alto. Don't try and hold back. Just do your thing. And scare the hell out of everyone! Right! supposed to tell him that he didn't pass after that. But of course, it's only the practical exam you passed. Do poorly on the written part and you will flunk. Don't get cocky. Y yes sir! If you're done, then move it. Right. Thank you very much, sir! <laughs> Sorry. Crazy! I'm so glad! <laughs> I still can't believe something like this happened. Could the crystal have been somehow defective? Not a chance. I'm surprised someone could even shatter that crystal. A gold square couldn't do that. Hell, a platinum square might find it tough. <sighs> Is something bothering you? This kind of weird stuff is exactly why I love working with the young mages. All things aside, though, I'm shocked you completely shattered the crystal. I swear. Why is it always like this with you, Alto? <laughs> I also heard that you won't have to reimburse them for the crystal either. Yeah, thank goodness, because I couldn't afford it. Right, you passed the test and that's all that matters here. All you have to do now is ace the written part. Right, easy enough. Speaking of that, Marks, you had said you had a secret weapon to help you ace the exam. But I didn't see you use anything for the practical. Correct! Because it wasn't meant to be used for the practical. I'll be using it with gusto for the written portion. Are you ready? Behold, everyone, my incredible secret weapon. Ta-da! <laughs> the perfect scorer six-sided pencil! This is how I got myself past Ortigia's entrance exam. Uh, oh yeah, so I well, see. I'm okay, sure all uh, wishing you had one, but this one is mine. Uh, <laughs> well, you're right. We'll just have to give it our best shot, won't we, Alto? exam was harder than I thought it would be. Like, for instance, it made me wonder, out of everyone, if there are even people who pass bronze with a perfect score. Well, I guess you're right. There don't seem to be many perfect scores. Even platinum squares, the best we have, even they've been known to trip up on something. Though if I do remember correctly, I believe there is one person who got a perfect score on every exam. Everyone? That's right. 
Every question for every exam, bronze, silver, gold, they were all answered perfectly and without a misstep on any one of them. E every question? What's up Never? with you? Why is that getting you so scared? Your dream is to be a platinum square just like that person, isn't it? Beardy back there said you got an easy, perfect score on the practical. You've always been good at taking written exams. So you'll ace this. And then you're right up there with that other perfect scorer. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. She's right about that, you know. Don't go getting scared on us. But who cares about who got perfect scores? As of this moment, just focus on this test. We did the practical. Now let's go past the written and show them what we got. <sighs> Do you hear me, Alto? Don't you dare space out on this test. You never know what will trip you up, so eyes forward and pay attention. R right Let's go! We've got this test in the bag! Let's do it! Yeah! yeah! cracking open your textbook now. And besides that, you used up a lot of mana back there, right? I did, but I don't need mana for the written test. Oh, come on, Alto. Remember what she just said? You never know what will trip you up. And don't forget, I hear your heart. And it wants this right now. Just a little more, all right? <clears throat> uh, seriously? We're going to be cutting it way too close now for meal. Are you sure about that? It seems to me you still have a little time. I don't go by that. Look for meal. Before you even take the exam, you need to make sure you have the correct writing utensils, that you check to make sure you have your test ticket, and that you're sitting in the right seat, plus lots more than that. There are tons of things you need to do. <laughs> I knew this before, but oh boy, aren't you a serious scholar? Huh? That guy, he was the one at the practical. <clears throat> I hope he passes too. Hey, Alto. Huh? So, can I have one more right here on the smackers? No more kisses today. You're so Jerks. They think they're better than us. Especially that white-haired guy. What the hell is with that lame stun he pulled back there? Asshole! Just you watch. I'm gonna blow you out of the water on the written- Hey! What'd you say? Listen, man. Could you not stand there? You're in the way. Nicely done. Thank you. You've gotten a lot better, it seems. But you've got a ways to go before you can beat me. Still, I'm surprised. About what? About our new recruit, Alto Goldfield. I just can't imagine him making a demon his familiar. I still can't believe it's true. 
When I was little, I was terrified an evil demon would steal me away and I would never see anyone. And now it seems, against all reason, that a platinum square might be the one involved in this debacle. The situation is beginning to look dire. <laughs> you are such a worrywart, Jessica. Do you honestly believe that demon poses no threat at all? Well, I wonder. Still, I think it's a splendid thing. Human and demon, master and their familiar. If their bond is true and holds strong against all the odds, then it becomes our duty as the Council to believe in the miracle that they are. But if I'm being honest, I don't understand. He's smart enough, so why would he ever let a demon give him her heart? Goodness, you truly don't know? Huh? He did it for love, don't you see? Alto's in love with that demon, yes? Huh? But you know something, Jessica? Huh? People just call these types of unheard things miracles or something of the like. Because they don't exist. Goodness, it's already this late? It's about time for the written exam to begin. Oh well, I certainly hope it concludes without any incident. I'm sorry, I got held up! Please let me in! The test is about to begin. Hurry to your seat now, please. Thank, thank you. Oh man. Why can I never say no to her? Oh, sorry, Vermeil. We are not able to bring our familiars inside for the written test, so maybe you could go kill time somewhere. You got it! Break a leg in there! Let's go, Cheryl. Right. Let's get together after, okay? Mm, yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see. I'm supposed to sit... Ah, right here. Perfect. I'm so glad I made it. The person sitting next to me isn't here yet. Hey! You're almost late! The test is about to start! Get moving! Gosh! That was a close one! Hmm. Hey, man. Good luck. Bored. Alto stuck in his test. I wonder if I can buy something sweet around here. Man, sounds like this year's practical was really tough for everyone. Oh, absolutely. That means the written will probably be tougher this year, too. At least it will mean that the mages that pass will be far more skilled. <sighs> well, I don't think it'll be much of a problem for my master to pass the exam. For real. He's more than just a little studious. He's obsessed. Ugh, why does he push himself so hard? I want to get stronger. I want to be able to keep you safe. <gasps> ah! I just want the damn test to be over with! All right. After skimming the test, it doesn't look like I'll get stuck on any questions. The calculations for question four will take time, though, so I'll skip it for now. He's sleeping? The, the test just started. Is this guy right in the head? I don't have time to worry about someone else. I have to focus. I'm going to pass this exam and get promoted to Bronze Square. Years. Sure, I can handle them, but 
This one's asking to calculate the interference and resonance for more than two formulae. Shouldn't a question like this be on the Silver Square exam? The Ministry of Magic might have gone a little too far when they made these questions. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, that was a good He was nap. asleep this whole time? Unfortunately, he doesn't have enough time now to get through every question. All right, then. Let's have a look at this bronze exam. such as you doing something like this. Oh, stop it, Colonel. You're making me blush. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're Colonel Pharynx of the Royal Mage Corps, yeah? The expert in battle magic. And that lady over there with daggers for eyes is glaring holes into me. Hmm. Am I the baddie here? Alto! Let go mm. of me! Alto's still in there! Hey! 
Hey, come on! Get out of here! Uh, no! Alto, I'm coming! Lilia! Alto! You certainly let everyone escape rather easily. You sure you don't need hostages? Hostages? Come now, I am not one to stoop to that level.
I'm certainly impressed. You actually got me to pull out my knights, didn't you? <sighs> hmm. All right, then. Has no one seriously figured you out yet? Sheesh. Everyone's so dumb. What are you going to do? Wait for me, oh, you bastard! Oh, that's right! I haven't told you what my plan is yet. It's simple, really. The same thing every cliched bad guy wants. We're gonna take the world in our hands and destroy it. <laughs> to do that successfully, though, we're gonna need not just hers, but the other demon's powers as well. Come on, don't be so upset. After all, demons aren't that good to begin with, am I right? <gasps> Don't you touch her! I alight! Calm down, would ya? Good! Don't pass out now, kid. Things are just getting fun. Wouldn't want you to die before you get to watch. Ah! Oh, wow. So does that mean you're finally getting serious? You and me, jerk! I'm taking your ass out! Eventually, but you're annoying. Hmm. If you're gonna be mad, get mad at the guy who fell in love with his familiar. honest here, it doesn't seem like you're actually alive either. Uh, surely you know, the apparition before you is not truly me. Perhaps you would call it something of a lingering memory. The day Vermeil was sealed in this book, I buried a part of myself within to prepare for the time that would one day come. 
You are the one who sealed Vermeil away. Oh no, please. Do not be so quick to blame me. It was actually Vermeil herself who told me to seal her away. I merely provided her assistance. Huh? You may have an inkling as to why she made that request. <gasps> it's because of all of the terribly naughty things that I did. Vermeil asked to be sealed away? feelings for Vermeil, though I'm not sure what they all actually mean. Still, whatever happens or whatever she's done, I will always stand by Vermeil. I see then. With those words, you are entrusted with this burden. If you are ready, then proceed. Don't worry. I will lead you to where she is. A key? Now hold on! I got no idea what's going on. But are you really gonna leave me out of all this messy drama that's happening now? <laughs> Don't fret, dear boy. This will all be over quickly. I don't really think so! After all, time does not exist. of the mind. Where am I? We are now directly inside Vermeil's mind. We are within the world of memories she wishes to desperately forget. But wait, what about Iolite? <laughs> Worry not of Iolite. The world of memory is detached from time and space. The time that passes here means nothing to the physical world. But do be careful. If you cannot save her in this time and place, then your mind itself will be trapped in this world forevermore. This took place 550 years ago, when Ortigia was still just the name of a continent. 550 years ago? That's before the Kingdom of Ortigio was founded. Vermeil was alive back then?
Choking again. You see that, Vermeil? What I tell you? <laughs> Your stew is super yummy, Meow. <laughs> I know. That's only because I'm amazing at everything I do. Oh, yeah, today I made a flower crown just like you showed me. Sister really liked it. Yeah, I figured that one out. She's sitting right there. But, sister, you don't need to wear it to dinner, you know. I don't see why I shouldn't. Vermeil made this crown especially for me, after all. Meow, meow! I want to make one, too! Hey, that's not fair! So do I! Oh, goodness! Crowns from Lynn and Kate, too? How are you going to wear three crowns at once? More seconds, please! Do you ever listen to anything I tell you? There aren't any seconds! <laughs> <laughs> She lived in a rundown abbey at the end of town. Poor, yes, but always smiling. Those times, as hungry as they were, were the happiest in her life. Those people, then, were the only family she had. We are not aware of the origins of how she came to be in their care, but this was her life. She said she had been with them for as long as she could remember, that they were all that she knew. <laughs> A demon? That's why I have these horns on my head, sister? Because I'm some sort of demon? That's right. But nothing wrong with that. Are you sure? I thought demons were terrible creatures. Miel told us that they're God's worst enemies. Is that what she says? I guess you're right. Some demons do bad things. And you're friends with God, being a sister and all, right? So if I'm a demon, then why are you being nice to me? That's simple. You, my dear, are a big part of our little family. That's it? That's it. You, Miel, Lynn, and Kate. As long as the five of us are together, I'm not afraid of anyone. Not even God himself. There, all done. <gasps> I love them, thank you! Soon you'll need to learn how to do them like that yourself. So then does that mean the sister knew Vermeil was a demon that whole time? Of course she knew she was a demon. But she was the only one. <laughs> this was back in the days where demons were well known and feared. Compared to modern life, humans were much more afraid of demons at that time. The woman of the cloth who took care of her meal in spite of her service to God most certainly exhibited the qualities of a true saint. Hold on. If she had family like that, then why did Vermeil decide to seal herself away? Away from the people that loved her? Do you sense a turn for the worse? Huh? Your sense is correct. You would do well to steal yourself for what is about to happen. There she is! The demon! 
Come on, say something, demon scum. Just get out of our town and die. Yeah, demon hag. Did you really think we'd let you live among us humans? Stop, please! It all started when a few neighborhood children discovered her horns. My, my, are you angry? Of course I'm angry. How dare they do that to her? Very well, then. You should not watch these next memories. What? What do you mean by that? Hey, you little brats! <gasps> what in the hell are you two doing to Vermeil, huh? Oh crap, it's Miel! Run for it! <laughs> are you all right, Vermeil? Bastards. Teasing's one thing, but these jerks are straight up bullies. Miel? Huh? But for Miel, wait a sec. Are you? <gasps> wait, please, Miel. My horns are just. Uh, I. I am not. I'm not. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to lie to you. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. It's gonna be all right. Yeah. Rest easy. I promise. I'm gonna keep you safe. After all, I'm your big sister, remember? Let's go home. Back to our family. Sorry, Vermeil. 
I'm their big sister too. I'm all that they have. So I can't just leave them to run away with you. I'm sorry I couldn't keep you safe. I'm I'm so sorry I can't be with you, Vermeil. Forgive me. I'm so sorry, Vermeil. I'm sorry I'm just not strong enough for you. Please, Vermeil. I want you to live. It's all right, Mia. It's going to be fine. I'm gonna be all right, Mia. Please, stay with Lynn and Kate so you can protect them. Thank you for being the best big sister and I'll never forget you, Mia. been no sign of it so far. Damn, they let that thing get away? We're not gonna let it escape. Curse those fools from the Abbey for protecting that damn thing. Let's head back for now. We'll force them to tell us where that thing went. If I run away, they'll get hurt. Vile demon. When we find it, we'll cut it to pieces. Yeah! We'll cut it down and then burn the remains. We'll make it pay for the scourge it's laid upon our town.
she brought upon the town. It was her will. The plague the town knew was nothing compared to the destruction of life and land she caused in its aftermath. That is the power she possesses. That was the moment her life of loneliness began. It would be 200 years until she would be sealed away during which time she became well known as the strongest scourge to afflict mankind. Her power is the most difficult to control and most detested amongst demon kind. Despite this, will you still treasure her? Never again. 
You will not be alone on my watch. I see. Well, all right then. That was a mythic level item you just broke. But I guess that's what it's gonna take to stop you. Honestly, though, I didn't think I'd have to work this hard for you. <laughs> Although, I'm into it. Come on then. Let's have our big climactic battle. <laughs> they wield, that sort of potential shouldn't be allowed to exist in life. Especially when it comes to what she can do. Her powers can do more than just change the world. She can completely obliterate it from existence. Her powers are so strong and so accursed that no demon even measures up to her. Which is why this is such an exciting time for us. We're going to use those powers for our own enjoyment and take pleasure in the act of destroying the world. And with how you treat him like a sad little pet, you're only gonna end up hurting yourself in the end. Quiet. <sighs> so she's a demon. Who cares about that? Destructive powers, who cares? No one. No one sees the real Vermeil and how good she is. Do you know, for instance, that Vermeil loves desserts more than anything? Do you know how Vermeil looks when she smiles? When she's happy? Do you have any idea how horrible Vermeil feels about what happened that day when she unleashed herself? So I won't let you lay a single finger on my Vermeil ever again. All right, fine. I like this look, though. You getting pissed? I like that for you. But what are you gonna do about it? I mean, come on. There's no stopping what's about to happen to you. Right, Vermeil. Let's fight with everything. Yeah. I'd like to see you try.
I can't believe you've been able to last for this long. <sighs> Right. It's time to stop. Wait, what now? We're already out of time? Just by looking at her, I can tell by the way she exudes power. She's a Platinum Square, too. We must go. Come, Iolite. Man, can't we fight a little longer? No. <sighs> it's getting quite busy outside, so prolonging this would be fruitless. Boo. Fine, I guess, if we have to. I'll let you guys have this win, so don't be too disappointed, all right? <sighs> Hold it! What are you guys really trying to accomplish? Who really knows? But you would be smart to keep trying, right, little master? Because I'll be back to finish this fight, and you wouldn't want to find yourself unprepared then. See ya! I alight! As long as I still have you, Vermeil. Ah! Holy crap! Wait a minute! You were there this whole time?! <laughs> well, of course I was. Though I admit, you were in quite the situation there. Precarious, actually. Fatima? Live your days forever by her side. Listen well. You may one day find the entire world turned against you. Are you prepared for that, Alto? Yes. Huh? I'm glad to have entrusted her to your care. I promise. I will become stronger. Strong enough to always keep you safe from harm. I'll be the strongest mage in the entire world. And protect you from everything and everyone. Uh -huh. Take good care of Vermeil. She's a very old and dear friend of mine. I will. Hmm. All right. It is nearly time. Go now. Fatima. You needn't have to worry. Not with him standing beside you. Goodbye, Vermeil, my dear friend. She was the mage who sealed you in this book a long time ago, wasn't she? Fatima, I see now. So it was you. No!
doctor! What's wrong? Can't fight back without assistance? Need your demon? You didn't commit enough! What are you doing? Stand up! You'll never be close to beating me if you continue with this shoddy performance. Hold on a sec, Jessica. So you good to go? Yeah. Don't worry, little Alto. I promise I'll be gentler than Jessica was on you. <laughs> you said you want to get stronger, yeah? I admire your tenacity. I'll admit you're pretty incredible. And as a matter of fact, you already passed me in most magical aspects. But... That's not enough! You lack physical strength. You lack tactical know-how. But really, most of all... You lack simple experience. You all right? Uh, I'm fine. My goodness, weren't you going to be gentle? Are you kidding? I was going super easy on him the whole time. Thanks, you guys. Mm -hmm. I know you're busy, so thanks for taking the time to spar with me like that. Mm. So, could I train with you again sometime? Mm. Why do you want to get stronger so badly, huh? Despite what I said, it appears you're already plenty strong as it is. Well, it's just that. Live your days forever by her side. Listen well. You may one day find the entire world turned against you. Are you prepared for that, Alto? Yes. Huh? I promise. I will become stronger. Strong enough to always keep you safe from harm. I'll be the strongest mage in the entire world and protect you from everything and everyone. I want to protect her. I don't want to see the person I love cry. I promised. I told her I would protect her from everything and everyone. So I... I need to know that I'm strong enough, so as to do it on my own. Oh. What? What's wrong? Sorry, it's nothing. Just, uh... Huh? Just what? <laughs> I like it. You've got promise, little master. Wait, was it weird for me to say all that or something? All in all... Chris told me I was lacking a bunch of things. That's good. <laughs> it means I can still get a lot stronger than I am now. I keep saying I want to protect her. And while we might have won for now, I can't even hold my own against Chris. In reality... I should probably brush up on the basics a whole lot more. Alto, please stop. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you all right? I am, but, um, something seems off. I feel weird in places. I don't know exactly why, but my chest is throbbing. Huh? That doesn't sound good. Let me have a look. Huh? Uh, all right. It hasn't been that long since that ordeal. I hope your heart's all right. Uh, hey, Alto? Yeah? Do I... Do I really need to show you everything? Huh? I mean, no, of course you don't need to! <sighs> huh? Wait, when has Vermeil ever been like this? What's the matter? All this... this time... my heart...
heart's been racing. I felt... I felt it start racing when you told me you loved me. Thank you. Thank you for accepting all of me. For loving me. Despite what I am and everything I've done. Thank you. For holding me close when I was crying back then. It means everything. I love you. <laughs> I love you more than anything else in the whole world. Alto. <laughs> and I love you too. Vermeil. I'm going to get stronger for one person and one person alone. I'm going to get stronger for Vermeil. Oh my, I do quite like the determination on your face. Recent incidents have caused great harm to people at our illustrious academy. Furthermore, those that were harmed were all innocent students. And as your acting president of the current student council, I simply cannot just stand idly by. It is the duty of the student council to protect the students of the academy. Tell me, what say you all to that? Well, I'd say you're getting ahead of yourself, but I know you won't listen. Still, though, noblesse oblige, of course. We must do our best to improve the lives of the students beneath us. I follow your lead, Madam President. And it's not just about them. We also gotta make sure that we protect all their familiars as well. I agree. Plus, they made the mistake of messing with Rex. For that, I will make sure they pay for it. Very well. And Alto, what say you? Even I can see to it and admit that it will be quite difficult. I will not lie. As things progress, we may find ourselves up against the military or platinum squares. Knowing all that, do you still wish to proceed? Of course. When it comes to Vermeil's safety, I will go to the ends of the earth to protect her. That's right. Because... Because I'm Vermeil's master. the exam for us. I know, right? But seriously, I can't believe you passed. Kind of shocking. <laughs> of course I passed. Told you. My secret weapon never makes any mistakes. That's why I got a perfect score on the multiple choice section. I'd expect nothing less. <laughs> for real, Marks, you freak me out the most. But whatever, we all passed, so with that said... <sighs> Wait a minute, where's Alto? He was just here a second ago. You kidding me? That blasted woman again! Hey, now, we gotta stop doing this. We can't keep going on like this here. Why not? You love me more than anything, don't you, Alto? What? Well, yes, I do, but... Honestly, that has nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, shush! You're my master! You're supposed to give your familiar whatever she wants! <laughs> Familiars have served mages since the times of old. Sometimes they bear their fangs. And other times, they offer their all to their masters. Here's to being together forever. My darling master.